So you want to add a subwoofer to your vehicle. Well, you're going to somehow need to provide a signal to the amplifier that you're going to be powering that subwoofer with. But there's an issue. Many times we'll see climate controls, navigation, and other vehicle systems built into the factory radio. What that means for those of us that love aftermarket car audio is we can no longer easily replace the stock radio with an aftermarket head unit to use as the source for our amplifiers. So how can we use the stock radio or stock amplifier as a signal source for our new aftermarket amplifiers? The LC2i is the solution. I'm Mark from the YouTube channel Car Audio Fabrication and I'm here today on behalf of Audio Control to show you the LC2i and to talk to you about how this can be advantageous for your custom car audio system. Let's take a look. Let's open up the packaging for the LC2i. So inside we have the manual, we have a quality control card, and then we of course have the device itself. So in order to show the functionality and capability of the LC2i, what I'm gonna be doing is using this test setup. This test setup is basically a stock car audio system. We have the stock radio, and we have the stock amplifier. The stock amplifier has its speaker connections connected to all of these connections. I wanted to show this so that you could see what's actually coming out of the factory amplifier and we can see how putting that into the LC2i then gives us signal out that we could use for our amplifiers. To install our LC2i, we want to pick a location that we can easily run the speaker wire leads to this and that we can also have close access to our amplifiers to run the signal cables to them. We'll start the connection process by disconnecting this plug. On this plug, I've connected a ground wire and a fused 12 volt constant lead. Now, according to the LC2i, I should also connect this third connection to a remote 12 volt switched lead. But in this case, I'm not going to because I wanna show you a technology that the LC2i uses. With these connections made, I can now plug this plug back into the device. Next up, I'm going to unplug this connection here here and I'll connect this to our speaker wire leads. Now I have my speaker wires connected to the LC2i. The final connections that we're gonna to want to make are to our amplifiers. Now notice that there's actually two sets of outputs. The first set is for the main channel outputs. The second set of outputs is called the base output and this is the signal that you would want to use to connect to your subwoofer amplifier. So I've made all my connections to the LC2i. Watch what happens when I turn on the radio for the first time. you can see that the device actually powers up. Now normally for a device like this, you would have to have a connection to the remote in, which is a switched 12 volt lead. And that connection would tell the LC2i to turn on. But in this case, the LC2i features a technology called GTO, which stands for great turn on. Because of this technology, you no longer have to have that lead. What it actually does is it looks for a signal on the speaker level inputs, and if it detects a signal, it tells the device to turn on. Now what else is really cool about that is you can also use the remote out to then have a lead that is connected to your aftermarket amplifiers to tell them to turn on. So it just makes installation a little bit easier because it's one less connection that you have to make and now you also have a way to turn on your aftermarket amplifiers. A final connection we can make here is to the ACR1, which allows us to actually use the ACR1 as a remote level control for our base output. Now let's talk about the different adjustments that we can actually make on this device. First off, there's a jumper on the side of the device. This allows us to select if we want the GT technology to be on or if we want to bypass it. Next up we have a dial for the AccuBase control and we'll come back to that. Finally we have two dials that allow us to control the level of output on the main output and on the base output. As a quick demo if I adjust the base output level control which is what I'm currently connected to with the RTA if I go up you can see that the level goes up and if we go back down the level goes down. Now the LC2i actually features a light right here that allows us to know when we adjust that level to its maximized potential. What's important to understand about the LC2i is it's an active line output converter. In other words, the signal that we're gonna send out to our amplifiers is going to be fully maximized. This is important because the stronger the signal is that we send to our amplifiers, the less that we have to turn up 
the gain on our amplifiers. If we have to turn up the gain on our amplifiers, we're more likely to hear system noise and have other issues. So by using an active line output converter, we're getting the best cleanest signal. Now on the side of the device between the main output and the base outputs, we have the AccuBase threshold adjustment. The AccuBase circuit allows us to solve a problem that exists with factory car audio systems. A lot of times with a factory car audio system, the original manufacturer of the car will actually have the radio so that it rolls off the bass as you turn up the volume. They do this to protect their inexpensive speakers. But obviously if we're installing a new car audio system, our new speakers can handle the bass. So we want to bring it back in to the signal. We can adjust the threshold to control when the AccuBase circuitry will start to come into effect. In order to set up the AccuBase, what we'll do is we'll actually turn up our radio to the point that we can tell that the bass is no longer increasing with volume. We then adjust the AccuBase threshold to the point that we hear that bass start to come back in. Once we're hearing the bass start to come back in, we can actually adjust the level of bass that's added back into the signal. You can see over here on the RTA that we're bringing in the lows. Now a quick side note, the AccuBase technology works for both the main outputs and the base outputs. But the main difference between these two outputs is the main output, which I'm connected to currently, is not affected at all by the base control connection. If we switch to the base output channel, you can see here we do in fact have control with the ACR1. One more final important note, whatever bandwidth of frequencies we send into the LC2i, we're also going to get out of the device, even if we're on the base outputs. So if you are doing a subwoofer, you'll wanna make sure that you properly adjust the crossovers on the amplifier for that subwoofer. So next time you need to install aftermarket amplifiers for a subwoofer or for speakers, and you can't replace the factory radio, be sure to consider Audio Control's LC2i line output converter. Audio Control has a full lineup of all sorts of different available solutions for integrated into a stock radio system. So be sure to check them out. If you would like to purchase or learn more about the LC2i, you can do so by using the links down in the video description. And for more audio control videos, be sure to check out the rest of the videos here on this channel here on YouTube. Thank you for watching.